we're looking at about four and a quarter to four and a half inches from the floor pan. Hey everybody, this is Paul with Modern Driveline. We're gonna show you an installation of a T5 transmission and a 6566 Mustang and how it normally is positioned in the car and in the tunnel opening. First, obviously the T5 transmission, the slip yoke is installed and we just measured from the center of our slip yoke to our floor pan and we are four and a quarter to four and a half inches. Here we've rotated the transmission so you can see these particular features. You've got the floor support here, plenty of clearance to the inside here. You can see the bracket on our T5 cross member. You can also see the cant of the transmission and how it's sitting level down here with the mount location and plenty of exhaust clearance on both sides due to the frame design. So I wanna take a moment to talk about the floor support here on the bench rather than in the vehicle. Modern Driveline recommends relocating the floor support and not cutting it so that you maintain the integrity of the vehicle. So if you're gonna maintain stock suspension in the front and rear, this is the minimal way to get it done. And of course, we have you clearance this in the front when you relocate it two and three quarters inches back, you wanna make sure you have room for your shifter opening before you put it back in. Removing your spot welds, maybe making a slight cut, is all you need to do. The natural position of the T5 shifter in the, any of the Mustangs, 65 through 1970, is about one inch forward of center. You may notice where my fingertip is, it hugs the right side of the tunnel opening. That is considered normal. Big block cars in 67 and later will have this a little further back, but it'll still hug the right hand side. Modern Driveline offers offset shifters to accommodate such things. Here we have installed a small block Ford T5 aluminum bell housing with the natural cant of the installation for the T5 to allow the cross member uh, mounting pad to sit flat. This makes an installation go cookie cutter, easy, no angles or anything like that. If you set it up to a standard six bolt bell housing we have adapters for that which also accommodate for this slight angle you need the angle to clear the tunnel opening which cants it over slightly so that you have a better installation and it's factory like what you would find on a fox body mustang here we have a factory cross member you'll notice on the factory cross member it has reliefs for the exhaust on both sides it also has this handy dandy mount for your emergency brake arm to attach your cable when you look up here, Modern Driveline cross member has the same features. Exhaust clearance cut away here for the shape on both sides, as well as the same emergency brake arm bracket. The nice thing about the Modern Driveline cross member is with allowing exhaust clearance, you can tuck that up tighter to the vehicle, unlike a tubular design that interferes with that and you have to either hang the exhaust down or move it further out. This gives you greater options. One more feature we want to talk about also is this cardboard. When a T5 or any transmission for that matter is installed, it's rotational torque that happens. So you don't have to have a lot of clearance between the transmission and the tunnel itself anywhere. About a cardboard worth of clearance works because remember as the transmission moves, it moves like this, not up and down, rotational. This concludes our T5 installation. Hope this video helps you. We do have stills, so if you want any specific shots, let us know. Check us out, moderndriveline.com, or give us a call on our technical assistance line. Thank you for watching.